ass. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna, right. <laughs> got a big ass forehead. Okay, welcome back, guys. This is our third video together. So if you haven't watched the first two, what are you doing? What are you doing? If you don't know, I'm ocean like the water. I'm Asia like the continent. Oh my god, <laughs> that's catchy. <laughs> we are cool. And we are the the Jetsons. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> And we are so happy to have you here. I'm excited for this video because we're going to be busting a lot of myths and getting rid of a lot of the gray area. Um, if you haven't already, go watch our first two videos. Part one is on Asia's channel and part two is on mine. So my channel is Ocean Therapy. If you didn't know, go ahead and subscribe if you like content like this. And if you haven't already, which you should have by video three, right. subscribe to her channel as well. Asia's Journey. Yes. So let's go ahead and get into it. This was our experience because if I'm not mistaken, you went to Fort um, Jackson. Jackson. Mm -hmm. And I went to Fort Jackson. A standard, some people call Fort Jackson, Relaxing Jackson. <laughs> Fort Leonard Wood, it might be a different story. Yeah. Typically, it depends on what your MOS is and when you yeah. go to recruiting. So, it just really depends on your MOS. I know for Fort Hood, you typically are like, you a, you a soldier, you, you know. <laughs> you bad about it. But we were 42 Alphas. We Which is human resources. Yes, specialist. and we stayed at Fort Jackson. For I didn't even get the chance to be a human resource specialist. I was... They had me in the field. I was the only soldier, and she was about to transition to sergeant. Oh, yeah. So I really was the. That nigga. And I'm scared. <laughs> I can't put that up there. Everyone believes, like, with basic training, um, most people feel like you can't do it. And that is not true. I We both went at two different times. So I yeah. went in 2018. And I went in 2016. So we had two different types of experiences, but truth be told, basic training, we're just gonna give you the nitty gritty about it. You can do it, it's just a mindset. Yes. I feel like with basic training, you see the whole little cinematography videos and it just gets you in such an emotional uproar mm -hmm. because you think that you can't, there's no way you could do that, but you can. Mm -hmm. When you, I'm not gonna lie, like when you first get off that bus at basic training, of course, like you have that, <laughs> I can't even say the word, adrenaline. So everyone has that adrenaline and of course, like you're gonna be scared because it's a new experience, you know, everybody's, the drill sergeants are yelling in your face, mm -hmm. but everyone is experiencing the same thing as you um, so it kind of makes it easier like knowing like you have you know your battles with you going through the same thing with you um that's honestly how i got through basic like yeah. you know knowing that i have um that i made friends and people along the way that are going through the exact same thing that i'm going through you you will be able to pass as long as you put your mind to it yeah i think that's the key point of basic training as a whole. It's just your mindset. It's just putting one foot in front of the other. And no matter if it's rucking, running, um, whatever it is, you're putting one foot in front of the other. Mm -hmm. One day at a time. Your point is to make it through that one day and by the time you look up, your, your eight weeks is done. And you'll be like, all right, time to go to my next, to AIT. And don't get me wrong, you will be tested. Yeah. Like you will be pushed to your limit. True. Because I was pushed to my limits a few times and I actually thought I was kinda in shape because you know, I play sports all my life. So going into basic training, I thought I was like in, you know, shape or whatever. But once mm -hmm. I actually got there and I started doing all the different exercises, I found out like, damn, I'm really not in shape like yeah. I thought I was. And I went when I was older. So. My in shape and her in shape was two different things. I had had a child. I, even though I did preparation leading up, yeah. like I ran like a mile a day because I really was motivated to join the military. Mm -hmm. Not the same. It was not the same. Not the same. Number two is that they do not feed you. Or that you eat know. MREs all day, every day. I don't know who came up with that one. I don't Legally, they gotta feed us. Right. Um, is the food the best? Mm -mm. It's not the best. Now don't get me wrong, breakfast, breakfast Bussin. was good. Bussin. 
Breakfast was very good. I actually gained weight in base training. That's how good the breakfast was. <laughs> I didn't lose weight, but I gained muscle because your girl yeah, came, and muscle. Your girl came back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what mommy body? <laughs> For sure, do that workout plan again because, like, I came back tough, poor, yes. tough, and I was ready to go. But they feed you, mm -hmm. like, don't fall into like stupid stuff, right? Now, what they feed you, you start hitting them ranges like week three to week six when you start going to the range, you you for sure gonna get the MRE right. every day. So, just make sure that you get the one with the MMs. I don't know about you, but. Our first three weeks of basic training, we weren't allowed to eat the candy. Yeah, I don't think we were either. They petty. <laughs> they gave us like those little special K bars and they gave it to us every single night. We would get information and they would pass oh, them yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember now. I remember. I told her I didn't remember. That it was, it, she's saying special K, but they weren't freaking special K for they us. Were, I, they were off brand. Oh no, we had them special K's. We had, you could either get the chocolate special K or the strawberry special K. We had like these protein bars, but they were like, yeah, it was chalk. like, it, oh no, they were, that was like a good moment in basic training. Like yeah. everybody look was, everybody looked forward to getting the special K bar. Running down <laughs> to get that bar, boy. Our three is that. They brainwash you in basic training. Like, that's not true. You're signing up for a job, so what you intake into your brain, it's not like I go to work every day and be like, yep, I'm going to be this person for, no, I'm still me. Yeah, you're still your own person. You're just learning the way that they do things, mm -hmm. and because I signed up, I decided to do things the way they wanted to do them. Mm -hmm. Of course, like, you are going to get used to, like, the army or the military customs and courtesies and stuff like that. Like, that's, it kind of becomes a way of life, mm -hmm. but you definitely don't get brainwashed. Like, you're yeah. still, I'm still Asia, she's still Ocean, like, we're still our own people. Um, and when we get out of that uniform, we're still the same people. I have a little funny story. <laughs> when I first like went to basic training, you know, they have you in these, like this pre-basic training area where they teach you like the core steps and um, marching and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Like they teach you the basic, you still can keep your phone, you can still wear your like regular clothes or whatever, but it's just for about like a week to get you ready to go to basic, right? Mm -hmm. They're teaching us about saluting to an officer and how you have to be like 10 paces away from an officer if you're walking past each other mm -hmm. to salute. So me and this girl, and I never, this is why you don't listen to people. This girl was in the Coast Guard. A colonel walks by us, and of course we don't know what the hell to do, so we both stop and just stand there like this, like idiots. Instead of walking, like just continuing our walk, walks by returning. <laughs> returning. I feel like I feel like everyone has like a funny story like that. Most embarrassing thing I've ever done. Yeah, that, that was. He looked at us, and it was. And he was black too. He looked at us. He said. <laughs> Number four is that you got to go in running. 10 miles <laughs> so, or or that you have to run everywhere you go all right we did really they ran us okay hard. yeah we did not have to we did not have to run everywhere whether you want to or not you're gonna get better there yeah that's you're not gonna different. run right it's just the amount that she ran and the amount that i ran is two different levels yeah i ran we ran everywhere in in every uniform full battle rattle i feel like the only time we did stuff like that is when like we were in trouble like one time we had to run up and down the stairs and and that's what trouble like look getting in yeah trouble getting like. in trouble is, yeah one time um our room our bay was dirty i was at church if you in basic training even if you are not a believer go to church <laughs> Go, go to, to church. church. <laughs> but um, I was at church, came back, and the girls had the room so dirty and they were caught sleeping. You can't sleep. So they had to go downstairs and get sandbags, fill the sandbags up. He didn't tell them what they were doing. Dump the sandbags, and then he said, take your camel back, which is our water source, and dump it all over the sand. And then he said, y'all got to the end of the day to clean all this up. Yeah, and the four, training was petty. Number five is that you have absolutely no contact with your family. False. My business training, when we had first got there, they let us call like our family member. It was only probably for like two minutes or something like that. And um, 
that was just it. But throughout basic training, we could send like letters and stuff to our families. I went during, it's something I think they call it like block leave or whatever. It was during like Christmas. So I actually got to go home to back to my family during Christmas. Like they gave us, I think it was like a week or two weeks off. I went home and then we came back to basic training. So that's what they talk yeah. about, Max and Jackson. Yeah. You know, two minutes, girl, they wrote a statement on the board. On the dry race board, and you had day, to say it. You had to say the statement. Hi, this is uh, this is uh, Specialist Long. I'm calling Whoa. to tell you that I love you and that um, I have made it to basic training at Fort Riley, ja Fort Jackson, South Carolina. They got with wait. me. No, and mine, they were uh -uh. standing right in front of you. There was one to the side of you, and you couldn't even hold the phone. No, I said what they told me to say, but then I like was whispering other stuff like, hey mom, I'm here, I love and you. And then <laughs> what's worse about it is we didn't get, like usually you can get a call after three weeks. I went with 17 year olds, so we kept getting in trouble. <laughs> and we didn't get a call till week six. I told the drill sergeant that I was like, oh my, um, my family member is about to get kicked out of the apartment. And my, my daughter is there, I got a call, and she was like, oh, here you go, here go the phone. Girl, I was outside in the bay, talking, out there like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what new movies is that? <laughs> um, number six is that everybody's in shape. That's not true. Most of the people that go to this training are not in shape. Not at all. Yes. Yes. Like, exactly. Like I thought said. I was. I thought I was too, and come to find out, mm -mm. they'll make you run to you sick. Yeah. Till you, uh -huh. Number seven is that the drill sergeants yell at you all the time, and again, it just depends it on depends. your drill sergeants. Probably the first couple of weeks they did, but after a while, like they weren't doing all that yelling. Yeah. They weren't being all extra. Stuff. It's important to say that basic training is three phases you have your yeah. week uh, one through three your week uh three through six i think it's like my colors yeah yeah your last week each week represents a color so if you see a group of people at basic and they have like a red flag just mm -hmm. know they just got there mm -hmm. first get there just off gate just assume you are gonna get yelled at mm -hmm. everybody gets yelled at the first like three weeks don't before. take it personal yeah like they people too and then as you transition it goes from uh yelling at you to training you and getting you ready and mm -hmm. prepared and but some drill sergeants were bullied in middle school so they just continue to um yell at you throughout the whole time except if someone puts their hands on mm -hmm. you at that point it's above me it's with and Jesus. That goes, so that goes towards um like drill sergeants harming mm -hmm. you or whatever Matter of fact, I don't even think they're supposed to physically touch you. I'm they're not, not supposed to touch you at all because at the end of the day, you're still a human. You have rights and no one in this world should put their hands on you. Mm -hmm. That's like this whole myth that you got to pack for the entire basic. That's not real. Yeah, that's not true. You have to pack for the first week. Okay. Have an outfit that you come in, have an outfit that you leave in, and then pack your essentials for the week. Um, my black girls, pack your eco styler, your mm -hmm. edge control, whatever you think you need. I personally went with braids, straight backs, hood star. Do get like them braids. Please do not um, keep them in for too long because they will start stinking because yeah. you will start sweating a lot. And I, I remember females that had braids in and they just got real old and stink. Yeah. And so just trying to hold on yeah. so they don't have to do it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was useful to you. I hope that when you decide to go to basic training that you're ready, you're motivated to get it done. If you haven't already, subscribe to both of our channels. We are going to give you the tea for all of October. And then also make sure that you comment and subscribe. Follow our channels. And yeah. If you're leaving for basic training, or if you've been to basic tra training, leave a comment below where you were, where you're going. Be on our personal experience as, we, as being black women in the military. So stay tuned for that. It'll be on her channel. Yes, it'll be on my channel. So go back to my channel and watch that video. But yeah, thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.
lies in focus. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight. Sit that on and we might just the fight. Fucking not, I keep the quality in my shorty back. You know she wants mine when she tattooed that ass. I'm a lover boy, she got a toys. Keep it coming, you a rider. Just that roll myself a day and count my figure shit. Just that stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit. I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit. If I catch you nodding off, then it's gon' be some shit. Well, you can do what you wanna, live how you wanna. 